All right, um, so we've got a short time here, so we'll just get started. Uh, so this year, we got a new logo. Um, for a long time ago, we did have a logo back with Novell, and we dropped them. That didn't come out with uh, when we came out of Novell. And we kind of picked up the uh, mascot, which we inherited from Immunix a long time ago, and we're kind of using that. But that's not the best logo for uh, desktops and stuff. And so Noah Wiley did some work, and we got a nice new logo out of it. And so we're all happy with that. Um, we transitioned from uh, Launchpad to GitLab. Uh, the transition between from BZR to uh, Git was a bit of a pain, but not too bad. The, the, uh, we still are stuck on Launchpad for some of the bugs and translations. Uh, but it, mostly we're on GitLab now. Um, we also transitioned from our custom me MediWiki, MediaWiki, whatever, to the GitLab Wiki. Uh, that was a bit of a pain. There was a whole bunch of skip scripts written to and c conversions done to convert MediaWiki down to the GitLab markdown. And there's still several things broken from that. Um, we're slowly working our way through and finding them. But what can you do? Uh, and with that, we also did the work to get the CII best practice badge for AppArmor. A lot of that came from actually moving to GitLab because then we picked, automatically picked up uh, HTTPS and several other things that you know that it's needed for it. And then it was just a, mostly it was just updating documentation uh, and a few other you know making sure our licenses all complied and everything was in place. So it's really good plug for the, you know, CI best practices project should be on there if they can. Um, upstreaming, we upstreamed everything this year, finished upstreaming except for the, the Ubuntu Delta, except for the AF Unix fine grain mediation. That's waiting and getting a little bit of revision as we are now also working on fine grain network mediation. And so we want to make sure everything works together and is nice with it. Um, so we did get a few other things up there, though. Uh, we got the SEC IDs up, finally, support for SEC IDs, which is a precursor for networking. But it's also allowed us to get uh, an audit filter, support for an audit rule filtering. So we just support the subject role right now. But hey, that's great. <laughs> uh, we did get the base socket mediation in in 4.17. Uh, so this isn't fine-grained network mediation. This is just. Uh, no, you can't use packet, AF packet, stuff like that. Um, we picked up a little bit of uh, IMA integration, and there are plans for more. So right now we can do some profile attachment based on uh, the IMA measurement. So you can't you can't transition to this. You can't run this executable basically, or and, and or you can you can run this executable, but you'll get different confinement based on whether the IMA signature matches or not. Um, and we with that we also improved some of the uh, attachment resolution. So it it doesn't really change anything except for the fact in the past that when we had a conflict, uh, you would just be denied, right? And that's still the case, but we have a smaller window on what those conflicts are. Um, and we picked up a, a no new privs subset test, which doesn't get us all the way on supporting no new privs the way we want, but it lets us track when new, no new privs was set so that we can say, yes, this set of policy is a subset of that policy. And so we can always maintain that no new privs guarantee and still do certain tr policy transitions without breaking things. Um, 414, we had a bit of a, a hiccup or a, a flame, maybe. Um, so this delayed a few things and a few plans. And, and it enabled us, actually, it was good in a way because it enabled us to focus on some things that have been really hurting and needing attention for a long time. So we got a bit of a new, new direction out of this and paused some of the upstream stuff that we wanted to do. And so what, what happened with 4.14 is we first tried pushing the networking uh, socket mediation patch, and it broke some kernel devs. Um, so what happened here is AppArmor originally 
what was going on in user space is we had two basic, two, basically two modes. You could, as a distro, pin your policy to a specific ABI, or you could have it open in, a, say, a dev mode type thing. So if you brought your, your kernel ABI would be used, and anything missing in policy would get denied, and then you could get those back as bug reports and throw stuff in. Hello, breaking kernel devs. So this is, uh, to fix this, we needed to change some things, and there, there's a whole bunch of ancillary work around this. So basically all we had to do from this point of view is policy now gets the ABI that it was written to, written for attached to it. Uh, it's not a big deal, you know, that's great and everything, but what else did we have to actually do to fix some other problems around this? Well, we had a, a single policy, binary policy cache. And so if you were switching kernels, that had to be invalidated and then recompiled and we're doing that at run time, uh, boot time which is a real problem, it was a lot of issues, especially, well, I mean, we could do some NET RAM FS policy and stuff, but it was a pain in the butt, right? And we're working towards being able to do more of that. Uh, so what we did is we now have basically a per kernel policy cache, it, so you can, you can install these things, you can, you can actually pre-ship the policies uh, with each kernel if you want as a distro. And to also support that, we, uh, now also support policy cache overlays. And so you could have a local cache for local changes and have an RO image that you're shipping stuff in as well. Uh, that's the, the big stuff that's actually landed. Uh, we have a whole bunch of stuff that's work in progress right now. Uh, so we, we've done a whole bunch of internal cleanups, uh, reworking the early policy load. Uh, one of the goals is to be able to get system D directly calling into lib app armor to, to load it instead of doing the extra call out to the, the, uh, the parser right now to do it. Um, making it easier to put policy in an it RAM FS. Uh, we've got fine grade network mediation coming with uh, support for IP tables and stuff. Um, there's uh, a certain little mount rework going around that's requiring some work. Uh, and uh, we've been, there is also work on missing mediation like keys and ioctals. Uh, we are also doing a whole bunch of work around improving our, our internal auditing. So we wanna get our audit data structures off the stack. Um, and then we also wanna be able to do some additional caching and grouping. And a, a large part of this comes to our complaint or learning mode stuff. And so we can generate a, a flood of logs. And so part of that is we want to be able to reduce those. We want to be able to group them. Again, reducing amount of data being done. And we also want to be able to say, selectively say, are we going to actually send this to the audit subsystem or are we going to allow a daemon to register it and send it directly to that daemon? And so then again, it's not going to the audit subsystem at all. We, we, we're getting it out of the way. Um, we do have some further attachment conditionals we're um, playing with. So we have the IMO that I mentioned, but there's also some stuff around users uh, that a lot of people really want for some role-based policy stuff. Uh, uh, there's extended conditionals and extra permissions, uh, breaking things down better internal. They're actually broken down in the kernel, but they're not in the user space. and so getting that impedant mismatch match fixed. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of work around policy namespaces. So internally scope and view work, that's again to help, that's the last piece we need to finish up. Well, not the last piece, but one of the big pieces that we have to finish up before we can open our policy to users and applications so that they can load their own policy. Um, that's the goal anyways. And delegation, which seems to, we have kept keep starting on it and it never gets done, which is the last big piece of our mediation model that just hasn't hit, hit yet, but we have been working on it. And that's, that's it for the year. <laughs> Hope that's it. Yeah, not too bad. Any questions? All right. 